Let us open to the book of Revelation chapter 2. Amen. Amen. Revelation chapter 2, we read from verse 2 to 5. If you are there, you can read. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Verse 2 I know thy what and thy labor and thy patience and how thou cast bear, bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them. We say the apostles and a not, and has found them liars. Three, and has borne and has patience, and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Four, nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left their first law. Five, remember therefore from whence thou art and do the first words, or else I will come unto thee quickly. And we remove the candlestick out of his place, except thou repents. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the special grace of God, the message before us this morning said, Fight the bot now. Fight the bed now. The Bible tells us in where we just read now, in that verse 4, especially. It said, nevertheless, I have some word against thee, because thou hast left the first love. That was the bet. This part that all you have doing in my vineyard, I have some word against you. This part all that you are doing, there is both in your life that is capable of me to cut you off. There is both you need to take care of. Although I see your labor, how you connect every 6 a.m. Although I see how you are doing the evangelism. I, although I see how you are doing the preaching. Although I see you fast from December, uh, January to December. But it's in your life. That is why again the topic say, fight the bot in your life now. Because why is it now? It's urgent. It's an urgent statement. It's an urgent thing that the Lord wants every one of us to quickly take care of. That is why it said in that verse 5. He said. Remember therefore from when thou art fully repent and do the first work, or else I will do what I will call unto thee quickly. If you fail to fight that but in your life now, I will come quickly and cut you off. No matter what I have saw you doing for me, but because, brother, because my son, because my, my daughter, you neglected the boat in your life, thinking I will consider it, you have no place in my kingdom. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have some what against you. There is some boat in your life, my son. There is some bot in your life, my daughter. What is that bot in you, sister? What is that bot in your life? The Bible tells us in the book of Matthew chapter 3. Look at what the Lord said to us in the book of Matthew 3, verse 10 and 12. Matthew 3, 10 and verse 12. Verse Verse 3 and uh, verse, Matthew 3, chapter 3, verse 10 and verse 12. 
Verse 10, and now also the ass is laid unto the roots of the trees. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruits is hand down and cast into the fire. 11, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. 12, whose fan is in his hand, and he will truly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the shaft with unquenchable fire. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In verse 10, he said, and now also the earth is laid onto that burnt area in your life. The onto the root, onto that burnt in your life. Therefore, every tree that but in your life, it's not allowing God to see you. It's hiding you from God. No, whether you are from America to Africa, preaching, doing the work of missionary, it's not that but in your life because you are not taking care of it. Because you fail to take care of it, your work is just a useless work. That is what he's saying. Behold, the tree, the house is laid on that tree. Since this body are not taking care of it and it's not allowing you to bear fruit, it's not allowing you to bear good fruit. I am going to head you down if you fail to take care of it. I am going to pull you down if you fail to take care of it. That is why in verse 12, in the in the verse in, in B, there it said, But he will burn all the shaft with unquenchable fire. What are the shaft? The shaft is talking about sin. So, sisters in the Lord, brothers in the Lord, what is that burnt in our life that we have neglected for so long? What is that burnt in our life that the Lord has given us a long rope on? But still, we fail to take care of it. Your word does not count. Your work cannot take you there if you fail to do the right thing. That is why I said, repent and know where thou are falling. Know the error in your life. Repent and see, set yourself and see where you need to repent from. Set yourself and see if it is anger you and I need to repent from. Because that anger is the ball that wants to stop you from coming into my kingdom. That bitterness is the ball that I am talking to. That you need to take care of. That if you fail, I will not consider you. I still remember it again. When the Lord used his servant to talk to us, that, that there is no excuse. You cannot say, oh, God, it's just only anger, and just more like, ah, just only bitterness. He is not ready to come, he is not ready to, to, to he's not ready to accept any excuse. Do you know why? Because there is a accuser of the brethren who has the same Bible you and I is having to present before him. He will ask, he will ask him and say, are you not the one who said that you 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 love your name? I mean, your word more than your name. How come now are you allowing this brother, this one, to come in with that bot in his or her life? Sisters are my bread, brothers in the law. What what is that bot? It's a question that we have neglected. We are eating on top of it. We still go to church on top of it. We still put on divine clothes on top of it, but neglecting it. You need, you and I need to do something about it because he said, I am, he said, but he will burn up the shaft. I will burn, he will burn that butt and that person, which I believe the Lord will help us not to be the person with unquenchable what? Fire. Praise the name of our God. Amen. Hallelujah. Take care of the take care of the bed in your life. Because that bed is is probably everything you are doing for God. If rapture take place, that's why you are preached from, from a, the, a preach all over the whole world. But that bird is in you. 
you are not going anywhere. That is why you and I need to sit down and set ourselves. What is that boat in my life? The Bible tells me, and you in the book of Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3, we read from verse 5 to verse 9. Colossians chapter 3, we read from verse 5 to verse 9. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Colossians 3, 5, 9, 5 to 9, I read verse 5. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, cease. For which things, for which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, seven, in the which ye also walk some time, when ye lived in them, eight, but now ye also put off all this anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Nine, lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When the Bible tells us mortify, what does that mean? It's telling me, Brother Sassy, put to death. That bitterness in you. Put to death that fornication in you. Put to death that malice in you. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. Keep that thing now. That is probably all that you are doing for me. Although I can see, tell you, my, my, my daughter, my son, you are doing well. But waiting for you to do something because he that knoweth uh, what to do and fail to do it to him is what is a sin. Mortify therefore your member. Thank God the Bible name it for, for name some of us, name some of them for us. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. Fornication. Is there fornication in your life? That's why you don't. You don't have anger. There is no bitterness there. But is there seed of fornication in you? That is what the Lord is saying now. Fight the boat now. Not tomorrow. It's an urgent call. It's an urgent thing that is need to be addressed now. Because the next seconds may be too late for me and for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mortify therefore that uncleanness. In ordinary affection, evil consistency, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Which one is in you, sister? Which one do you have in your life? Okay, you can say, no, I, and when somebody uh, do misevil, when somebody offend me, I can easily forgive. But, are you a liar? Are you someone that bring this call to, to, to group? That is the bot in you. Many of us, and there is no one that does not have that have weakness. That weakness is the bot now. That weakness has no excuse. He cannot accept you. He cannot let the gate of heaven to be open for you and me. If we fail to deal with that weakness that we call weakness now, never we think that to have it in mind that God is going to consider it. He will not consider it. Sister, what is the birth in your life? Brother, what is the birth in your life? He said, it make us to understand in verse 8. He said, but now you also put off all this. Which one is in you, sister? He said, anger. Are you with this? Are you having a spirit of anger in you? That is the bot that you need to take care of. If you do not take care of it, he will take care of you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's, it's a rot. Put off rot. If you refuse to put off rot, rot will put you off from heaven. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. In, from Genesis to Revelation, did you hear that another thing was the one that put devil down from heaven? Was it not pride that put him down? One thing is enough to do what? To pull you off. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. 
you are not a person who are who are who have anger, but is there no malice in you? Search yourself now. No wonder the Bible tells us, examine yourself whether you are in the law. Examine yourself to know where you are falling, to know if there is any but in your life. That's part you, you can sing very well. That's part you can pray very well. That's part you can, you can preach very well. That's part all you are doing. Is there no but in you, sister? Is it blasphemer? Are you not a blasphemer? If you are not, a, if you don't have money, think of it now. Say to yourself, this is an urgent call. It's a, it's a call. We are. This is a, a clinic that we need to 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 to, to tell to. I mean, to set ourselves, which are is in me. Fifty communication. You don't have anger. No man is no heavy. No hatred, you always forgive, but your mouth, what is it producing? If you speak where there is confusion, does he increase the confusion or he bring peace? Does your mouth devise a, a, a family? Does your mouth break and destroy congregation? What is uh, what is your mind producing? Is it a good fruit or a bad fruit? Take care of that boat now, sister. Fight the boat now. It's now. It is not tomorrow. Because tomorrow is never our own. It's all you have no, you and I cannot decide that I will see tomorrow if he do not decide it. That is a make a just cry. You cannot see tomorrow. I cannot see tomorrow. That is why the board is needed to be taken care of today. The Bible said today is the day of salvation. Today is the day the Lord is telling me and you to take care of that board. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. He make us to understand. He said, lie not one to another. Say that ye have put off the whole man which with is this. Are you still having the deeds of the whole man? You said the Lord does not look at the heart. You don't longer follow the Bible. All you are following now is your pastor. My pastor say so that the chosen does not matter. My pastor say uh, you can pray without a covering. That is the bot now. It's a battle land you where you don't expect. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only like uh, uh, it's only uh, 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 the, the pet I'm using now is the white one. No, uh, it, uh, uh, it, do you mean this part I am still putting on skirt and everything I still have with all in my head? It will land me. Yes, it will land you there. It is the bot that you need to take care of now. Is it marriage ring? It will land you there. Take care of it. All these are the bots that you and I need to fight now. Do something about it. What are you into? Are you a, a gossiper? Take care of that gossip now. Fight it now. Take it to God in prayer now. Before it will take you to where you never expected. I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself. Because if you point one figure to others before it's coming to you, so that is to say, I am even talking to myself more than you. Brothers and sisters, what is the board you need to fight against? Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. Why do you and I need to fight, fight the board? It's a question. Why do you and I need to fight this boat we are talking of, talking of? Number one, because if you, if you must appear with him in glory, you must fight that boat. You want to, or maybe, I, I don't know about you, I don't know, the, maybe the, uh, the sound of God, we always say that everybody go to the market with a what different reason. I don't know the reason why you are connecting anyway. I don't know the reason of your, of your Christianity, maybe is of 
going to somewhere else. Maybe your own is to go to heaven. But I want to talk to those who want to see the appearing of Christ, that need, that want to go with Him His glory. So if you are one of them, you need to do what? To fight the boat now. The Bible tells us in that same place, Col uh, Colossians 3. He said, for, he said in, in, in verse, in verse uh, 3, in, uh, in, verse th in verse 5, in verse 3, he said, for ye are, uh, I mean, verse 4, he said, when Christ who is our life shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. Are you ready? You wish to appear with Christ in his glory when he shall appear. So therefore something is needed to be done. You need to, you are in that category, if you must see his appearing, you are in that category the Lord is talking to that you should, that you fight that boat in your life now. Because without that, you can never appear with him in his glory. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number two, why do you and I need to fight that boat in our lives? Number two, because heaven does not accept people with birth. Heaven do not accept people with birth in their life. Revelation chapter 21 verse 8. eight. Let us go there. Revelation 21 verse 8. Heaven does not accept those people who are having birth in their life. Verse 8, but the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and warmongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Amen. Where is that? Is that a good place? No. No. So that is why we need to find the body because it cannot accept you. The board will not allow the gate of heaven to be open for you and I. That is why it's needed to be taken care of. That is why it's needed to be fight now. Because it will not allow the gate of heaven to open. It will not accept you into heaven because heaven is a place of holiness. Heaven is pure, is with us sin. If only, uh, if, if, if only pride can take the devil out of heaven, can kick him off. Don't, if you are not, if he will not be the first person that liar we allow to stay into heaven. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. Brethren, right what are we talking about? It's a truth that if you, me, if you and I fail to fight the boat now, I pity I pity us, but I pray the Lord will help us and give us the grace to know the right thing to do now that we have breath in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, mm -hmm. Number three, why do you and I need to fight that boat now, not tomorrow? Because the wages of sin is what is dead. Because the wages of sin is dead. Romans 6 verse 23. For the wages of sin is dead. For the wages of sin is not, the Bible do not say it's life. The Bible do not say for the, for that wages of that birth is life. For the wages of that birth is what? Is dead. That is why we need to fight that birth now. Not why? Not tomorrow. The Lord is talking of now. Is telling you today, fight the boat now. Because why? I'm, I'm about to cut you off. Because why? That thing is about to even damage your life. That Because of why? That thing is about to uh, cause you to regret. Why was I evil come into this world? Why was I? But why do my mother give birth to me? I pray that will not be our portion in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Number four. Why do you and I need to find the boat now and not tomorrow? Because, 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 why? But because that boat will stop you and I from inheriting the kingdom of God. Galatians chapter 5, 19 to 21. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21. 
Verse 19, I read in Jesus' name, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are the idolatry, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, twenty, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, deviance, emulation, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, twenty one, envy, murderous, drunkenness, revealing, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they who do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. Praise. Hello. Hallelujah. He said, because though that do such thing, he didn't say they will not inherit hell. He said they will not inherit what? The kingdom of God. That is why the board need to be fight now because he will not allow you and I to inherit eternal life. He will not allow us to, to live with Christ forever. So my dear brothers and sisters in God, in the law, fight the boat now. Do because tomorrow may be too late. No matter, listen to this. All your work minus plus that boat is equals to zero plus zero equals to what zero. All your work with boat in your life is equals to zero. You are just wasting time. If you are just laboring in vain. I pray the Lord will not allow any soul on this mountain to labor in vain. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. But it is the truth. He said, He says, Such I told you before. That such that doeth such will not inherit my kingdom. So you will not be. He didn't, he didn't say some now. He didn't say only the white people. He didn't say only the black people. Such anybody. Anybody who are in that category will not enter my kingdom. So, brothers and sisters, are you ready to enter the kingdom of God? You, if you are in that category, fight the boat now. Don't wait to allow the boat to fight you. Don't allow the boat to fight you. Fight it now. You have the opportunity. You and I have the power. As far as we still have breath, we are not, not we are not yet in the grave. Fight it now. No, I'll wait for the boat to fight you and say, hey, 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 you do you know I will I, can't you see you how full you are? You fail to fight me. You will pity me. I pray that will not be our portion in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Because of that, we quickly want to look at it. He said, how can we fight the boat in our life? It's a question again. Everything is a question. How can we fight the boat in our life? Number one, by prayer, by prayer, your knee must go down. Your knee need to be fired. You, you, you need to be thin, not robust. Because of that, ah, sister, you are just, ah, oh, eh, eh, because, are you sick? No. Although you are sick, because the highest spirit, the highest sickness one may have in his or life is sin. Fever, malaria, whatever, even HIV, whatever. Cancer is not the highest sickness. The highest sickness in man's life is a sin. Because sin can stop you from heaven. Your sickness cannot stop you from making heaven. If it will stop anybody from making heaven, it would have stopped the, 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 rich, uh, the, the, uh, the Lazarus in the Bible. Despite all, a, all the soul that was on him, he is in heaven today according to the word of God. So therefore, the highest sickness that he might have on earth is when there is sin in your life. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Number two, by fasting, by, I mean by fasting, how can we find a boat in our life? Number two, by fasting. Food must be avoided at times, not eating from January to December. If you are in that category, forget about it. Forget about it because even your food is the strength of that boat in your life. If the one giving strength to that your boat in your life. So my dear brothers and sisters in the Lord. Let us fight the boat now. And I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lastly, lastly, before we go into prayer, by studying the word of God, all those articles must be avoided for God's word. If you must be able to fight the boat in your life. 
praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. I don't know the one that is in you. I don't know the birth that is in your life. You don't know the one that is in my life. But the Almighty God knows the birth in you. I want you to talk to God now. You know yourself. Not that you know yourself unrepresently. But you know yourself to some extent. You might, be, you might know the one that is in you. It can be anything. You know, you know what is saying. We are all mature. Even the little children know what is saying. Not to talk of you and I. Take the one you know now to God. And the one you don't know, take it to God as well. And say, Father, this is in me. If you know the one in you, measure it. If you can measure it. If you don't know, tell God to set you. He knows you more than you do. Tell God, Father, I come to you this morning with my butt. I have found out that all my connection will be in vain. If this boat in my life will not go. Talk to God and say, Father, deliver me from this boat in my life. That is capable of stopping me from inheriting your kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's open our mouth and pray. Amen. And Father, Lord Jesus, I give you the praise and glory, the honor. And Father, Lord Jesus, I present my body for you, Father. Lord Jesus, Father, I Jesus, I Lord Jesus, I for Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I Lord Jesus, I Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord I don't know if I have people Jesus. Please, I Jesus. Please, to my we are praying. Amen. Lastly, we are going to pray. You, you are going to command now. According to the word of God, the word of God says, For this cause, for that both in your life. That was why the Son of Man was made manifest. So that he will destroy the works of the devil. That bolt is the work of the devil. You are going to call on God now. And talk to God. And say, you bought in my life. For this purpose, the Lord Jesus Christ came. Be destroyed of my life. I refuse to go to where you came from. He came from here. I refuse to go that place with you. Get out of my life now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my soul is not available for you to destroy. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we must pray. Amen. Father, Amen. Father, I give you the praise to do. I say you that God. I say get out of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you out there? You are not born again. You have heard it all by the grace of God. It's opportunity to know that anybody is capable or anything is capable of stopping one from inheriting the kingdom of God. And the daughter of God right now, Sister Indeed, we lead you to Christ and Sister Willie pray for you. I pray you will, your life will not remain the same again in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Brethren, are you out there this morning?
that you have not given your life to our Lord Jesus Christ, and you have heard the true word of God this morning, and you have not made up your mind to confess your sin before our Father, please, I want you to repeat this short prayer after me. Lord Jesus Christ, I have come before you as a sinner. Please, Lord Jesus, save my soul. I confess with my mouth this morning that you have come to die to save me. Lord Jesus Christ, please have mercy upon me. Take my name away from that book of death and write my name into the book of life. Please wash me with the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, help me, O oh Lord, to go and live my life in the way it will please you. Mm -hmm. Empower me, Lord. Strengthen me, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord, for hearing my prayer. Mm -hmm. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. I congratulate you, my brothers and sisters that have just given their life to Christ. May the Lord bless you as you have done that. I pray now and say, Lord Almighty, we bring those that you have chosen to, to come to you this morning, O Lord, back into your able hand. Father, we thank you, O Lord, that you will hold them, hold them to the end, O Lord, that they will not fall backward again, O Lord. Father, empower them in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that we, that they come to meet as Lord, to do this journey together. We will not look back. We will continue to look unto you no matter how the journey is far. Help us, O oh Lord, to meet with you on that day in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, O oh Lord. Empower us, O oh God, in all areas, O oh Lord, and these new ones, O oh Lord. Empower them. Hold on, in, hold on to them, O oh Lord, that they will not fall back. They will not go back to their family. Empower them, O oh Lord. And say, Father, Lord, we thank you for holding us on we continue to go with you wherever you want us to go in the name of Jesus. Bless them, provide, oh Lord, their needs, oh Lord, that will not make them to go back. Thank you, Heavenly Father. As we are all running this way, so Lord, may we meet you in glory on that day in Jesus Christ's mighty name. We Amen. pray. Amen. Amen. As we are praying, so shall it be as we seal upon the blood of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I hand over to the Holy Spirit for the moderator to continue. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Most high God. Amen. God. Almighty God, <coughs> Father. <coughs> Sorry. We have called it to his fine yard. Always empower you, strengthen you to the Amen. end. And as Amen. God Almighty have used this morning to speak this undertaker word unto his children, I pray every breath. That is capable mm -hmm. of hindering us entering into the kingdom of God in your life, in our life, at the mercy of God. This morning, they have been taken away in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 Love it. It is offering time. Blessing time. Blessing time. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. We have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. We have seen. We have, we have seen, seen the Lord's goodness. It is mercy compassion. We have seen the goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, beloved, as we're drawing close to the end of the service this morning, uh, please uh, could. Uh, Sister Samuna Kolonama Otta, please stand for our monthly and yearly declaration while uh, Minister uh, Daniel Ose, so I stand for our closing prayer. Our beloved, uh, we thank God Almighty uh, for what you have done in our life this hour. 
as we rejoice with all our brethren that God Almighty has brought into his presence this hour. Uh, please, if you are such a person, uh, we welcome you with the love of God.